Welcome to my round one game of EPSN. I'm running green white creature bomb it. It's a token, token spam deck that plays more like a combo deck than an aggro deck. It points on mono blue flyers, I think. Anyways, uh, time to roll for first. I get to be on the play. And I get a pretty good hand, actually. Is uh, Gilo isn't active on turn two, but it's really close. I mean, I'm definitely keeping this hand. And let's see, so. Yeah, we both keep. What do I even, do I even lead off with? I think a Wayfair, uh, yeah, Wayfair Shrine for planes, and then I Amber Hills for a Resplendent Substratum. Uh, yeah, let me get my planes. I'm going to play out all my creatures right now. It's a slight shame that I won't be able to get out Mosekef on turn 2. I can just get it out on turn 3. The opponent's going to probably play their 1-man flyer. Those guys are actually kind of annoying to attack into because they trade with all my tokens. Okay, Phantasmal L. I mean, there's no way they're blocking with this thing, so I can briefly attack into it. And Endless Health Cells, so that's my turn 3 play. Which is kind of annoying because I want Mosekep pretty soon. I guess I'll play Gila and try to hit a land so I can possibly EHS plus fetch Mosekep next turn or something. Anyways, uh, let me get Splendid Substratum. So, Kilo, would I flip? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. With these two guys, no way I put blocks, and yeah. Next turn, if I put doesn't deal with Kilo, then it's going to be active. Crossing the Fog, sure. So they're going to draw a bunch of cards off Crossing the Fog, and it's not like I'm going to be able to stop those guys anyways. Or Scatter, huh? How worried am I about Spell Pierce? Would I rather play around Spell Pierce and Quirrellite Champion next turn instead of EHSing? I mean, probably not, but there is an option of doing that. They're going to play Charing Parrot and Loot. Take two from Phantasmal L. They get to, I guess, probably pick up Storm Caller Sentinel or something. Okay, so I do draw a land. And, oh yeah, the Ender tapped out, so I get to activate Gilo this turn, I guess. Uh, do I need to Nebula for two colors? I can just Nebula for white. I, mean, I probably should try to prevent myself from taking too much damage, so I can... Well, I Nebula for white, and then fetch Mosekev, play EHS, swing. Seems like my best use of... Yeah, that seems like what I should be doing. But I'm not sure I want to Nebula for white. Yeah, fine, I'll Nebula for green. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. And since I'm going to fetch Mosekev anyway, I might as well fetch it out now so that I don't get it off EHS or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully I hit something good. I get an alright hit off of it. I get to seek the Lost Child and Lower Sprout, which draws me a card. Next turn I get to Vast Savannah, which will let me get the child off. Let's see, I, I am slightly worried about Tile Spite, I think. Because Tile Spite bouncing on my tokens is kind of a blowout for me. Yeah. But anyways, uh, the swinging with Gilo boost hit, guys. You have to worry about uh, next turn just me attacking for a ton. And you can take 11 from this. Yeah. Pretty insane damage, all things considered. I don't think their deck has a good way to deal with Gilo. Oh, they're going to Crossing the Fog again. Yeah, sure. Probably looking for Tile Spite at this point. And there is Tile Spite. So I guess what they can do is. Uh, well, they have Island too, so. Is they use something like uh, Swing with both? Oh, never mind. They have Island again. Okay. So what's going to happen here is that uh, they can Swing with both guys, get Tile Spite plus Ponya, play Ponya, and then play Tile Spite tapping Ponya, and then that gets them. To, that bounces two things. So that's probably a token plus Gilo, or I guess the Lost Child token plus Gilo. Bouncing Gilo mid combat is going to be really annoying, and they're not going to Social Graces. Okay. You get another Vast Savannah. Well, the problem is I really want to play Forest to turn off my Respelling Substrate and Pings, but... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. How much do I care about chip damage? Well, actually, if I play Vast Savannah and keep it untapped, then... Basically always have a uh, Lost Child on... Or I can activate Vast Savannah in response to... The opponent doing stuff to the Lost Child. Anyways, so I'm basically playing around my opponent getting to bounce two things at instant speed. So how do I not get blown up by, uh, whatever? Actually, 
So if I so if I go to combat and my opponent doesn't pause, then I get to swing and then Moses Kef goes to six counters or gets six counters and then I activate and win. So uh let's see if my opponent does that. So I'm going to play out Blast Savannah. Fetching I guess Quillet like Champion is my only choice here. Honestly, this deck should should be running two basic planes instead of two basic forests. Yeah. Probably something I should have uh, done earlier. So let's see if my opponent decides to do the thing now. Because if they let me attack, yeah, okay. So they're they're smart. Uh they're going to do this before I get Moldekef onto a uh, bunch of counters. And yeah, what do you bounce with title spite? Kilo and Lost Child. That's a mistake. Yeah. So let's see, Vasva fetches. Then substrate him. Yeah, this deck really wants uh, a second planes. And they're all tapped out, so I get to swing in for pretty much free. And that gets Muzikov up to 8 counters. I play Gilo plus Corlet Champion. I guess. Oh nice, I flip another land. I'm getting really lucky with my Gilo flips. Too bad I don't have a second planes to fetch. What did I even put Corlet Champion Aura on? I want to put it on something that my opponent doesn't really want to bounce, so... I'll put it onto a... Uh, Overgrowth Guardian, I guess. So... Seven guy, yeah. Does my opponent have lethal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, they do have lethal, huh? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Okay, yeah, that is lethal, huh? Two pretty fast decks going against each other. Oh, so that does, oh yeah, that kind of sort of means that uh, playing Coralite Champion there kind of lost me the game. But yeah. So anointed curse breaker kills the flyers. Uh, do we want Byron's Gambit? No, not really. This isn't like the ma right matchup for it. And actually, Daisy's kind of useless here, right? Yeah. Uh, do I want the near right charm? Uh, no, because my opponent's mostly playing with bounce. Honestly, that kind of makes Scarlet Champion bad, just because it gets bounced super easily. Hmm. Maybe Silent Wanderer is just good here because uh. Something that my opponent really doesn't want to bounce, but eh, I'll run like this. Uh, that's not a very good hand, but or it's a decent hand. It has really high upside. I guess I keep. If my opponent wants to waste to turn one title spite on one of my children's, then I'm fine with that. Okay, sure. Well, I guess I'd have to worry about Tau, sort of. Actually, next next turn I could do something like play Seek Lost Child, Amber Hills, Crack from Mozkev, then have Devil Lost Child. That seems pretty good, actually. And yeah, they're just playing Phantasmal L. Like, I'm pretty fine with that. Oh, Forest. Look at Amber Hills for uh, planes and play. Or, ah, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do this. Find uh, Mozkev. These Lost Childs up. 24 life and get to look twice. What do I want? Uh, Quillite Champion is pretty decent here because I have so many guys, but I want something I can play next turn. And I've. Uh, Queer's Companion is. So, what am I doing next turn, anyways? I'm probably swinging in and then raise reinforcements. Uh, I think I just want more guys, honestly. Uh,. I have enough guys, right? I'll take Corlite Champion. And then I'll take Anointed Curse Breaker. I think that's my turn. Yeah. The next turn I get to uh, play Curse Breaker plus Lore Sprout, I guess. So let's see, my opponent plays Crossing the Fog. Sure. And try and Parrot. Sure. Doesn't mean that they tap out, so that means I got pretty free raise reinforcements next turn. And I think that probably will just win me the game, because I don't see how they're dealing with such a gigantic board. Oh, Pierce Paragon. Yeah, I'd rather get Phantasmal L out, out of there, so... Uh, they don't have board wipes, and like, Pierce Paragon doesn't really protect against anything. Let's play my land first. Anyways, uh, swing with everyone. 
No blocks? Sure. Uh, I'll... Play Lord Spout, draw a card. Play Anointed Curse Breaker, get the Phantasmal out, out of there. And then before the end tap, I'm going to uh, raise reinforcements. And actually, right, this guy should be on four counters right now. And... Okay, so they did find Tile Spike, but like, a bit too late for that. I, mean, I don't really see how they're going to prevent them. Oh, uh, they don't die next turn. Because they just swing with everyone and then activate Mosekev. Yeah, yeah, they can swing in with their one one flyer all they want. They pick up Tile Spike. I guess they can bounce two things this turn if they... Yeah, they have Ponya in hand somewhere. But that's nowhere near enough to stop whatever the hell I'm doing. Which is, uh... Uh, do I want to risk, uh, looking stupid? And yeah, no way they can, like, survive this, right? Are they going to Tile Spike the Anointed Curse Breaker? I guess that probably makes sense. Yeah. So going into game three, um, we don't want the Paris Paragons. I don't think they're good because they're weak to bounce and they, yeah. I want to put the Silent Lars back in because they're just faster that way. Anyway, so I'm on the draw, which is not good for this deck. I'll keep this, but it's not a very good hand. I'm really looking for, uh, I'm really looking for something that makes two tokens. Because then Chris Campana lets me EHS on turn two. The Vasavana isn't it. And let's see. They just whack me for one. That's not too bad. Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. Ponya, I guess? Either Ponya or Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce would be pretty bad for me, actually. Or maybe Soul Pierce? Both would be pretty bad, honestly. I mean, no, no way I'm playing blocking, so I might as well just attack this turn, I guess. Right? Yeah. Then... Right to play Gilo. Does it get pierced? Doesn't get pierced. Uh, not land, but all right. The so next turn, I get to uh, Lower Spell EHS, I guess. Or maybe I just straight up EHS, see what I hit, and then go from there. Okay, sure. Actually, I am worried that uh, EHS doesn't hit Bessie's Brood. So, uh, like, if I hit Anointed Curse Breaker off EHS, then that's pretty good. Oh, Daisy, uh, that doesn't really help me here. Or does it? No, it doesn't. But something I can do is, uh... I can play out more creatures and also EHS at the same time, I guess. Like, I'm, I don't think I win by just attacking here. I need to, like, combo off somehow. EHS is probably the best way to do that. Yeah, I'll play Lord Spout first, draw a card. Uh, tap out for EHS, see why I hit. Uh, Quillite plus Seek. Okay, so, yeah, keeping card in hand really paid off for me. Or, p keeping the land play really paid off for me, because now I get to do this. Do I actually put the enchantment on? Well, I mean, I'm not doing any damage either way, so I think I stick out to Lord Sprout or something. But now Gilo's active, too. It's pretty scary. So do I Wayfair Shrine fetch... I can Wayfair Shrine fetch Forest. And then play another Lore Sprout. Or I can uh, Vastus Savannah. I think I'll fetch Mosekev now. It does give me a bunch of, uh, a bit of a life buffer. And let's see. And that gets me Overgrowth Guardian. And now I pass the turn. I'm disappointed that I don't get to raise reinforcements this turn. I wish there was another way to tap one of my guys, but fortunately, yeah, good. Probably that opponent can probably still clock me down from here because I have no way to block those guys. And yeah, Gila bonus. So uh, I need to like remember that this happens. Actually, I am pretty close to lethal if my opponent just doesn't bounce my board. I can pretty easily bounce my board, but uh, they keep me the out back. I guess to tap to tile spite or something. Okay, that, that's pretty good because that prevents a bunch of damage from hitting me. Okay, social graces, sure. They're just going to pass, so they probably have Tile Spite plus Ponya in hand, or maybe Spell Pierce or something. But either ways, oh, two ra raise reinforcements. Is there any way for me to get some extra taps out of this thing? Actually, I can, like, yeah, this thing taps three things, so. And they're going to Tile Spite me before combat, or at least before I go into combat, so. I'm gonna have a hard time raising, I think. And I think this is the point where I kind of wish I fetched 
forced to play Daisy instead of uh, playing Mosekef because uh, now I don't get to raise reinforcements through a title spite. That said, though, I just want to clear his companion Gilo and then Lord Spell, and then you know, that's a problem with slapping enchantment on this guy that wants to get bounced. Right. Anyways, uh, so how do I get to. Oh, I can actually never mind. I can just Overgrowth Guardian, right? I mean, I'm not going to activate Mosekef this turn anyway, so. Overgrowth Guardian, tap all of those guys. They'll Daisy plus Lord Sprout. Seems good. Okay, so they're just gonna let it happen. Well, Betsy's boot, that's really good. Do I just play this thing? It's Ray What's Rayfear trying fetching? Planes, always. Because I've exiled my forest. I guess I can use this. I'm gonna tap out anyway, so. Yeah. Do I kill. I killed Far Wandering's Guardian. Because that's the most annoying guy. So, yeah. I'm gonna wait for a shrine now. Get planes. What do I do if Gila gets bounced? I can just play again next turn. And I guess I killed Phantasmal Owl. Yeah, they're going to Tile Spike now. And now they have to bounce the Brood. And I guess they bounce Gila too, or something. Well, I guess that's why I shouldn't have tapped out so early. Uh, yeah, I kind of misplayed there, but couldn't have done it any other way, so... Uh, as long as I... Let's see, so I can swim with everything. These guys can all attack, so... Yeah, I'll do that now. So, one, two, three... That's a seven, nine, I attack with four guys. I just realized my plan didn't work out because now I can't double raise because I already tapped out my guys. Yeah, I probably should have uh, thought stuff through before this all happened, but sure. Oh, two title spites. Uh, do I just raise reinforcements now? Yeah, sure. Which down will my opponent take there? I think it's three, right? Yeah. Or no, take four, right? So I get to uh, Queer's Companion again. And Bixie's brewed the L again. Yeah, this deck is pretty disgusting when it goes off. Yeah. 